Let's take another case study to understand ratio analysis and here also we are going to prepare balance sheet from available information. Okay, So let's start one by one. We have equity share capital 100,000. Then we have another information current debt to total debt as 0 0.40. Then total debt to owner's equity 0 0.60. Fixed assets to owner's equity as 0 0.60. Then we have total assets turnover two times, inventory turnover eight times and uh, any other information? Yes, we have to complete the balance sheet. So hardly we have uh, six pieces of information, equity 100,000, current debt to total debt 0.4, total debt to owner's equity 0.6, fixed asset to owner's equity 0.6, total asset turnover two times and inventory turnover eight times. So now basically, uh, we have to create relationship between these items, okay? so. What we'll do, let's see how we can interrelate them, okay? So the first item is equity share capital and the second item is current debt to total debt. So it has nothing to do with equity. And the third item is total debt to owner's equity. Yes, there is a relationship between this and this. You have equity share capital 100,000. Total debt to owner's equity is 0 0.6. So what, what you can infer is your total debt is 0.6 of owner's equity that is it is 60 percent of owner's equity that is 100,000 into 0 0.6 60 percent so 60,000 is going to be total debt and once you have total debt I think this can be related this can be related with this item that is current debt to total debt is 0 0.4 so you know that your total debt is 60,000 it's 40 percent is supposed to be your current debt so by that you get what's your current debt then you have fixed assets to owner's equity 0 0.60. So again, you can create a relationship with the owner's equity of uh, 100,000 multiplied by 0 0.60. So you get to know what is your fixed assets. Then you have total assets turnover. Now using this total assets turnover, I think you will be able to find out what is your uh, uh, sales. But how do you find out that? How do you apply? How, how do you know what's your total asset? Uh, I think it's possible because here, by using this ratio you get to know what is your total debt and you also know what is the equity share capital so both put together that is 100,000 plus 60,000 160,000 is going to be a total liabilities and obviously that's going to be a total assets as well so you get to know what is your total assets apply that in total asset turnover ratio find out what is your sales and why you need sales information because the problem also gives you inventory turnover. We know what is the formula for inventory turnover, which is uh, cost of goods sold divided by average inventory. But in this problem, I think uh, you have no scope to find out what is the cost of goods sold. So we have to believe or we have to assume that uh, the sales is at, at uh, cost of goods sold level. Okay, then you need average inventory. So how we are going to find out the average inventory, the opening and closing and all not available. So whatever the inventory you derive, that's going to be the average inventory and we conclude that is going to be the inventory figuring in the balance sheet. Okay. So with that assumption, we have to proceed. So let's uh, have a working note one. Let's have a working note one where we'll find out the total debt and we know total debt is dependent upon equity, which is 60%, 0 0.6 of uh, total equity. So let's me, let me capture that. So here if you notice total debt to owner's equity is 0.6 so I am saying total debt by owner's equity or otherwise total debt is equal to 0.6 into equity and we know equity is 100,000. 100,000 into 0.6 we get to know what is total debt which is 60,000. So once you have this total debt of 60,000 then finding current debt is very simple let's go ahead. Working note 2 will find out current debt and information what we have in the question is current debt to total debt is 0 0.40. So I can write current debt divided by total debt is equal to 0 0.4 and current debt is nothing but 0 0.4 multiplied by total debt and we know what is total debt we know it is 60,000. So 60,000 multiplied by 0 0.4 would give me what is my current debt that is 24,000. So now I know what is my total debt. I know what is my current debt. So the difference between the total debt and current debt is nothing but the long term debt. Okay. So 60,000 minus 24,000 will give me what is my long term debt. So I'll carry that as working note 3 long term debt. My total debt is 60,000. So in which current debt happens to be 24,000. So obviously the balance is long term debt 
and it is 36,000. Okay. Next working note, let's find out what is total liabilities. We know what is owner's funds. We know what is total debt. So total liabilities is going to be simple. Total liabilities is nothing but equity plus total debt. We know equity is 100,000. Total debt is 60,000. So 160,000 is total liabilities. But the important understanding that is required is total liabilities are equal to what is known as total assets. Our total assets are 160,000. Okay. Now this understanding is very, very critical to continue with this problem. Okay. Move on. Let's have working note 5 where we'll find out fixed assets. We have some information in the question. Question says fixed assets uh, to owners funds is 0 0.60. Let's see. Yeah. Fixed assets to owners equity is 0 0.60. So I can say fixed assets is 60 percent of uh, owner's equity we know owner's equity is 100,000 so fixed assets is nothing but uh, 60,000 so in this way we got the fixed assets also then we have two more information in the question one is total assets turnover the other one is inventory turnover so let me apply that and find out what is my inventory I know what is my total assets turnover total assets turnover is two times and what is the formula for total assets turnover it is sales divided by total assets is equal to two times okay so sales divided by total assets is equal to two times do i know sales no that's what i'm trying to find out but do i know total assets as yes, i know we have derived what is total assets in our earlier working note so sales divided by 160000 is equal to two times so i can say sales is 160 into 2 it's going to be 320,000 3 lakh 20,000 is my sales now this information is going to help me to find out what is my inventory how let me apply this in inventory turnover ratio what is the formula for inventory turnover ratio it is cost of goods sold divided by average inventory so in this problem we don't have any information to find out what is the cost of goods sold because if you want to find out cost of goods sold from sales you have to subtract gross profit in the absence of information about gross profit absolutely you can't find out cost of goods sold so the only option available in front of you is to assume that sales is at is at cost okay so with that assumption if i proceed i'll have cost of goods sold divided by average inventory and again when i say average inventory it is opening plus closing by two okay so here also i don't have any information about the opening i i don't have any information about closing so whatever i'm going to derive now i'll assume that as average inventory i'll assume that is the inventory as on balance sheet date okay so now i have sales of 320000 i'm going to assume that this 320000 is my cost of goods sold so i'm going to apply this in inventory turnover ratio so what's my inventory turnover ratio it is eight times so cost of goods sold divided by average inventory so instead of cost of goods sold i'm writing sales so i'm assuming that sales is equal to cost of goods sold right so sales divided by average inventory is equal to eight times so what's my sales it is 320000 divided by average inventory is equal to eight times 320 divided by eight will give me average inventory and that is 40,000. So this is the critical part in this problem because without making this assumption, you cannot proceed with finding inventory. Okay, let's go ahead. Working note 7, basically we have to find out uh, cash balance. How? Because uh, we know some basic uh, inputs about our current assets and all. Now let's uh, try to find out uh, cash balance, but how? how that is going to happen? See, we know what is the total assets. It's uh, something like 160,000, right? It is 160,000. Now, from this total asset, I have to uh, remove the items which are fixed and which are other current assets. Let me do that. We know that fixed assets is uh, 60,000 from our earlier application. It means the remaining 100,000 is current asset. Yes, that we know. Now, from this 100,000, if we remove the inventory, just now we have derived what is inventory, right? In our earlier working note, we have derived what is inventory. It is 40,000. It means that is a balancing figure of 60,000 and I'm going to call it as cash balance, okay? The 60,000 is called as cash balance and if you want, you can also call it as other current assets. So I repeat, this working note is focusing on cash balance and how we are deriving? 
we know total asset is 160,000 of which fixed asset is 60 it means balance is supposed to be current in current we know inventory is so much 40,000 our earlier working note the balance 60,000 can be called as other current assets or it can also be called as cash balances okay so most of the items were completed now let's go and prepare the balance sheet liabilities and assets to start with owners equity we have this in the question which is 100,000 then the total debt we have divided that into current debt and long term debt so current debt is 24,000 earlier working note long term debt is 36,000 so the total is 160,000 then on the asset side we had fixed assets working note 5 it is 60,000 then with regard to current we had two item one is inventory the other is cash balances so inventory 40,000 and cash or other current assets is 60,000 total 160,000.